Hello, it is Friday, October 14th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Friday puzzle today, which means a themeless puzzle, and ostensibly more difficult than yesterday's. We'll have to see. I found that one tricky, so I, I live in hope that today won't be uh, quite so much of a challenge. We'll have to see. And this hopeful edition of Daily Solve has been brought to us by David Innes, Josh Lucas, and, as always, the inestimable hood monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in sustaining this channel and this series. I do very much appreciate that. And if you'd like to join their ranks and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And of course, um, thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any tier. Doing so will get you access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as uh, the new ones that go up each week. And I've just recorded two, the first two uh, competition puzzles from the current Boss Words Fall Themeless League. So if you've been a patron for long enough, you may remember the previous uh, two, I suppose, Boss Words Fall Themeless Leagues. And those are um, weekly crossword competitions with uh, three levels of difficulty. I've chosen the most difficult one in each case, and they, I do find them very difficult. Uh, the two went pretty well. Well, one of them went pretty well. One of them went not so well. So if you're a patron, you can see how those went. Uh, and that's up on the Patreon channel. Again, thank you to everybody who has backed the campaign at any level. Oh, no, no, they're not up yet. I will put them up soon. Uh, they will be up soon. Okay. Anyway, uh, do subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Thank you to everybody who has. And let's get on to the crossword. This is a Friday puzzle, as noted by David Steinberg, an extremely experienced constructor with over 100 puzzles to his name in the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Discipline with tantric Buddhist origins. I'm not sure. Um some kind of yoga maybe belt uh, yes belt out in the mountains could be to yodel so i bet this will be yoga like some reals omani omani currency let's see if that works airport ticket info this would be sorry that's a currency currency is what i was is what i was getting at there um airport ticket info oh gate what gate the gate at which your plane is uh, waiting uh, can i go now Am I free or are we done? That looks like that might be right. Congresswoman who wrote, this is what America looks like. It must be, it must be Ilhan Omar. And then, um, so there's an American political clue for you. Discipline with tantric Buddhist origins, right? So it does look like it's some form of yoga, but I'm not sure what. Noise that sounds like its last two letters. Not sure about that. And what about this part in the middle? Hmm. D's? No, no, that's the opposite of what I was looking for. Um, I was thinking the middle of the word middle, but that's not right. It would be the middle of the word part if that's what it was doing, which it doesn't seem to be. Okay, bad result of an attempt at humor. And lived it up, had a ball or had a blast or something. Not very confident in that. Let's look at this quickly, then I'll check the acrosses. Whichever could be any, maybe. Okay, so cramming together, e.g. Oh, study date. So you're cramming. In other words, you're studying, you're revising frantically for your exam uh, with someone else. You're on a study date. And mixer at a mixer could be soda. So in this case, the first of two meanings of mixer meaning um, something to mix with an alcoholic spirit and the second meaning some kind of get together, you know, sort of meet and greet with drinks, that kind of thing. Indonesian province with a Hindu majority. Bali is part of Indonesia. There we go. They get harder the more you work out. Your abs, maybe? Chives feature. Um, a bulb. The bulb of the chive plant. Um, and what about this? Literally trumpets. Oh, tubas, right. That's funny. We learned this recently, that trumpet is actually derived from a word for tuba in, I forget the language already. That's annoying. I'm sorry about that. 
Um, anyway, I just realized we've got this closed off section here, so we should fi figure it out. Noise that sounds like its last two letters. It looks like hiss to me, and the SS would make that snake-like hiss sound. Part in the middle. Oh, right. Alto, perhaps. Um, a, a low female vocal range, and it being sort of a low female range puts it roughly in the middle of the overall vocal range, sort of near a tenor for, for the male range. Bad result of an attempt at humor. A th oh, a thud that landed with a thud didn't uh, didn't uh, work. Okay, so here we have a hatha yoga. Okay, I have seen that before, but I definitely wouldn't have. It's not f forefront enough in my mind to have just grabbed it out of the air. Oh, celebrity gossip source. That's funny. I feel as though there are quite a few things in this specific puzzle that have been in the crossword within the last week or two. That's that's interesting. Like that tuba trumpet thing, uh, this E News, and there was Abs was in there recently. Um, Alto was in the crossword recently. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. But yes, this I remember from the other day. E News for entertainment news, not electronic news. <laughs> Celebrity gossip source. Half Blood Wizard of Fiction. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what series this is referring to. Half Blood Wizard of Fiction. It'll be Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, almost certainly. Ultimate Purpose. The End Aim? Not as commonly said as End Goal, I don't think, but it seems perfectly valid. Let's see if that helps. Wig Maker Supply. Wig Maker might have dye to dye a wig to the proper, to the intended color. What you might hear people sing for short. Well, oh, sorry, when you might hear people sing for short. A birthday, B-day? That's probably the answer. Their spines aren't flexible. Probably ends with an S, 20 sources. 20 sources. Don't know, I'm gonna leave that now and come back over here. They push a motion forward. Um, it could be a motion in a legislature, you're, you're proposing a bill or something. So maybe eyes, you vote I to push a motion forward. Does that work here? One who will take you for a ride. It does look right. It looks like an Uber driver. And here we have stalling is buying time. There, ta-da, you might say. And something that's cracked and gross. Dirty um, mug or something. I'm thinking of a Cracked coffee mug or something? That doesn't seem right. Cracked. A dirty gaze? You crack as sort of a leer? Or... I don't know. Not quite seeing it. Turn in the air, say. Yaw. It's a um, term for a uh, type of rotation in an aircraft. 20 sources. Right. What was that? 20 sources. I'm still not sure. It'll be obvious when I see it but it isn't presently. Become more appealing to. If something becomes more appealing to, it grows on you. So to become more appealing to is to grow on. SNL alum who co-starred in 2003's Dumb and Dumberer. Um, I'm not sure. What about this? On the job. If you're on the job, you're at it. You're working. You're doing things. And Delta Connection. Delta connection, question mark. So the surface read of this, if we didn't take into account the question mark, it looks like Delta the airline, and it looks like a connection, meaning a connecting flight. But I'm pretty sure the question mark means that's very much not what it's going to have, so to, to be. So what is this? I mean, a delta is change in a mathematical sense. Um, don't know. What about this one? Uh, parentheses, e.g. They're arcs, literally, if you draw a Parenthesis, it is an arc. So delta connection. Oh, a river, as in a river delta. Right, oops, ah, there we go. So this is a geographical reference and not nothing to do with the airline. Okay, so here, informal summons. Now this looked wrong when I first saw it, but I don't think it is. I think it's come here. It's informal, so it's a, a contracted form of come here. Summons, come here, I summon you. Card holder, maybe. Card holder, maybe. Not sure. And what about this? Line on a letter. So if it's a line on a letter that's a typeset letter, a typed letter, it could be a serif, the little feet 
um, that go on fonts in serif fonts, such as the one in which the crossword is typeset, these little bits hanging off the ends of the T or the H, whatever, the, those are the serifs. Whereas this, this font is sans serif, without a serif. Uh, anyway, so this was O'Terry. Oh, Sherry O'Terry. Right, I've heard of her. I wouldn't have known she was in that film, but, but, uh, but there we go. I mean, I think I've seen that movie. I honestly can't remember. I probably have, but it would have been a long time ago. 20 sources. Uh, not sure. Half of an evening outfit, informally. Half of an evening outfit. I'm not sure what that's getting at. I mean, it could be an outfit that you wear, but I'm wondering if it could be a duo of people, a sort of outfit, meaning a kind of people you hire or something like that. I'm not sure. Bother. Um, that was a, quite a bother. That was a big ado. That could be the case. Not certain of it. Managed to stop. Don't know. Let's see. What did, what, where did we stop looking? I don't know that we even ever looked at these acrosses, so let's do that. Ruse, ruses could be a scam. Feels like a bit strong for a ruse. It would be a deception of some sort. Uh, marijuana discard. Um, I'm not saying it. Sorry, what is that? What is this? I'm not a blank. Online confirmation. Oh, I'm not a robot. <laughs> Something we all have to... Oh, stub. Is that what this is? Marijuana discard? I don't know. I'm not very confident about that. Let's look at the cross. Unfold. But yes, anyway, this I'm not a robot thing that we all have to declare. <laughs> we all have to declare ourselves not to be robots now on those uh, CAPTCHA processes. Okay, lead into K. Well, it's not H-I-J, which would be, sometimes you get that with, you get little runs of the alphabet in here, but that doesn't fit. I'm pretty confident about this robot bit. So lead into K, oh, pre-K, pre-kindergarten. Um, so in, for instance, the U.S. school system, you have uh, preschool, pre-kindergarten before children start kindergarten, which itself precedes first grade. Okay, ruses, yeah, I'm not sure. Unfold, to, is something in, unfolds, it unstew, it unstews, it ensues, it happens next. Um, and do you, my poppet, feel unfirm? You probably contain a worm. Ogden Nash. I don't remember if I knew that poem. I probably did when I was young, but I didn't remember it. I just got it from the rhyme. <laughs> um, because Ogden Nash, uh, his poems were always very sort of catchy in that way. They always rhymed in very direct ways. Um, at least that's my memory of them. And he wrote a whole book of animal poetry, which is why worm seemed feasible. So Mar oh, marijuana discard the stem. There we go. Right. Okay. I think I was trying to think of something slangier. Center of Pluto is... I don't know. It feels, this feels weird. What is this? Maybe this isn't worm. Really looks like it does though, and the meaning fits as well. Do you feel unfirm because you've got some kind of parasitic worm? But maybe it's wrong. I don't know. What is this? Center of Pluto. I don't know. Something feels wrong, but I'm not sure what. Think, think, think about. Obsess over. I guess worm is wrong. Oh, look at that. After all of that talk. So think, think, think about. Is it obsess over? Oh, what was this? Ultimate purpose. Maybe that's not end aim. That's very surprising. Probably contain... I mean, this must be an R to rhyme with infirm. That just, oh, that just looks weird. Rude response to rudeness. Your something? Oh, right. A ruse could be a ploy, so... Ruses are ploys, um, deceptions in that case again. So center of Pluto is a long U. Oh, a germ. Right, I see. Okay, so my my sort of memories of Ogden Nash's animal poetry definitely won, won me over here in a, in a way that was not helpful. So maybe you did not have that same association in your brain and then did not was not misdirected. As, as badly as I was. So do my poppet feel, do you my poppet feel infirm? You probably contain a germ. There we go. That matches um, just as well or better, you might say. 
So ultimate purpose is the end use. There we go. And rude response to rudeness. Yes, you're something that looks right. Relative of latex. Not sure. Pile of texts. Um, a book, some kind of book, small carton size. Hmm. Maybe a pint. Just a pint of milk, for instance. Relative of latex. What is that? I'm not sure. And what about this? Pile of texts. If that ended with an I. I'm going to check those crosses on pint. What cooks your goose? An oven? Is it as simple as that? You cook a goose in an oven? And manage to stop. I mean, arrest. You sort of manage to stop someone or something. You, um, what do you do to stop something? Not sure. Let's keep looking around. 14-time NBA All-Star Nowitzki. Unsurprisingly, I do not know who this is. That is a shame. Its tongue sticks out. Oh, a shoe, maybe? Shoes have tongues that stick out. Most prolific author of children's horror fiction, per Guinness. So Guinness presumably here is the Guinness Book of World Records and not, you know, I don't know, Alec Guinness or someone like that. But um, so who would this be? R.L. Stein, I bet. R.L. Stein, he wrote the Goosebumps books and I think I think many others. Um, but those I sort of remember from being young. Okay, makes like a goose is honks. Gooses, uh, geese honk. Gooses. Geese honk. And uh, so to make like a goose would be to honk. Spotted as a horse. A pinto is used to describe uh, sort of spotted uh, coats on on a horse, or at least one sort of them. Organizer of a couple's getaway. Not sure. And what about this? Half of an evening out. Yeah, okay. Half of an evening outfit informally. A top of some sort? You might wear a top. Uh, what about this? 20 sources. I still don't know what that is. Okay. What else can we look at? What have we not seen? Healthy slice. A slab. It's a big slice. I, I don't, I'm not very confident in that. But warped could be bent, actually. So maybe that's right. Plant with fleshy leaves. Aloe, maybe? The the favored uh, medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword? I'm not certain about that either, but let's keep looking. Instrument created by Hermes from a tortoise shell. No, I don't remember this. Um, I don't know. Travel by private jet, say. And hammer with a bat. Uh, this will be the name of a baseball player, I bet. Um, oh, maybe it's Hank Aaron? I have no idea if Hank Aaron's nickname was Hammer. That would make Stein wrong. Oh, no, no, that's just because I've misspelled Stein. Right, it's not It's not spelled in the more common manner. It's spelled S-T-I-N-E. I think it's a, I think it's a pen name. Okay, so Hammer with a bat. Yeah, maybe that is, wow. Amazing if I managed to intuit a baseball answer. Uh, although Hank Aaron is pretty... Pretty commonly known baseball name, I suppose. So maybe not that impressive. Organizers of a organizer of a couple's getaway is what? Don't know. Oh, a liar. Oh, right. Instrument. For some reason, that's so strange. I read. I, this happens to me sometimes when I'm doing the puzzle on video. I read instrument. The word instrument aloud, but in my head, I thought weapon for some reason. So I was thinking of like lance and other other weapons starting with L. That wasn't helpful. Anyway, a liar. There we go. That seems very plausible. Travel by, travel by private jet says to go in style. That would certainly be going in style, I suppose. Um, if you didn't sell, you saw maybe in or sat. You could sort of conceivably think of context in which didn't sell means either of those things in a way, but I'm not very confident in either. NASDAQ's home informally. The street, so Wall Street, so NASDAQ is a stock market. So uh, the street used to refer to just the financial industry in general in the U.S. Organizer of a couple's getaway. Oh, it's Noah. Um, uh, organizing couples of animals. 
on the arc. That also, there was also a Noah's Ark reference relatively recently in the crossword. Okay, so what can we do? We just need to fit, fill out the middle, roughly the middle of the puzzle. So bother, this does look like a do now, doesn't it? It looks even more like it. And I'm still not sure about that. Manage to stop. Well, it isn't a rest, <laughs> but what is it? Avert. You could avert catastrophe. You could manage to stop catastrophe. Okay, so what about this? Oh, we haven't looked at this clue. Washington, Jackson, or Ford. So I think we're supposed to think these are presidents, but then that's not going to be what is relevant to the to solving the clue. So what? Oh, movie star. Right. So maybe Denzel Washington, um, you know, Harrison Ford, um, Jackson. Why can't I think of a Jackson? Samuel L. Jackson, maybe. Um, so movie stars, right. Okay. So 14-time NBA All-Star Nowitzki is a oh, Dirk, maybe? That's a name that would fit. And you're a jerk, a rude response to rudeness. There we go. Here we have relative of latex is sap. Oh, okay. So a material obtained from trees. So I was thinking of the kind of end form of latex once it's been processed and, I don't know, <laughs> refined and processed, whatever you do to latex. But anyway, I think this is probably going, referring to raw materials. So what about this? Pile of texts. Something emoji. Not sure. Their spines aren't flexible. Right. Their spines aren't flexible. Hmm. <laughs> what do I do? I haven't seen this. Big matter of con big matter of concern for senior management. Senior man. So there's a question mark here indicating a bit of punnery or wordplay. And I'm wondering if senior means elderly rather than senior management, meaning sort of top brass at a company. Big matter of concern for senior. Um, not sure. Half of an evening outfit. Okay, what do I do to, to solve this? Ready for a back rub, say. If you're ready for a back rub, you're achy or you're sore or something like that. Something that's cracked and gross. Oh, I just don't know where to go. Okay, pile of texts, question mark, pile. Is there any way this could be the poop emoji? <laughs> Is there any likelihood of that? I mean, if you think of just a pile in a sort of slangy way. Oh, Half-Blood Wizard of Fiction. Is this Snape from Harry Potter? I mean, I know the name, Snape. I don't know if that person is a half-blood wizard, but it must, must, that must surely that's the answer. So there we go. All right. Well, that was helpful. Sorry, I'm doing that cursor uh, move around thing. Okay, ready for a back rub. Oh, if you're ready for a back rub, you're what? Don't know. Ah, what about this? Their spines aren't flexible. Boy, I'm getting similarly stuck to how I did yesterday, although a little closer than I was. Big matter of concern for senior big matter of concern for senior management. Big matter of concern. Big. What is it? Don't know. Ready for a back rub, say. Boy, what do I do here? How do I progress? Be ready for a back rub. Oh, no, maybe it's not senior meaning elderly people, but senior meaning um, senior students in, in the U.S. high school system, for instance, senior referring to the fourth year of high school. So prom night, prom, a senior dance. Dance for seniors. Okay, there we go. So, ready for a back. Ah, right. You could be in the prone position. You could be lying down with your back up and therefore ready to be massaged. Okay, there we go. Their spines aren't flexible. Books don't have flexible spines. Right. You break a book spine if you try and flex it too, too strenuously. Okay, something that's cracked and gross. A dirty... What am I still? Oh, joke! You crack a joke, 
Right. And a dirty joke is, it's gross. That's a gross joke. That's, that's what makes it dirty. Okay. So, oh, half of an evening outfit is a PJ top. It's not formal wear. It's the opposite. It's you wear it in the evening because you're going to sleep and that pajama top. And then 20 sources are ATMs. I see $20 bills you take out of an ATM, an automated teller machine. Okay. Is that, there we go. That's the solution. All right. Definitely got um, stuck at the end there. I think that was less challenging than yesterday's puzzle. Actually, I just sort of got, I just got tripped up around here in general. So what was it that all did it for me? It was books, prom night, PG. It was really all of all of these downs except for Are We Done, which I got relatively relatively early, but but I really struggled with the rest of these. And then honestly, the crosses as well. Yeah. Well, B Day I got fairly early, but then poop emoji prone, dirty joke didn't get to the end. ATMs didn't get to the end. Yeah. So that 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 whole little um di- sort of diagonal rectangle there was just uh, was challenged for some reason. Um, the rest of it went all right. And that was a, I think, a good solid themeless Friday puzzle. I think it was relatively well pitched difficulty wise. For some reason, I just really tripped up around here. I'd be curious to know if anyone else had a similar experience or or maybe a different one uh, with, you know, challenging a different area. Um, yeah, don't, don't know why that tripped me up so much, but it did. And anyway, I don't think there were any... Um, Corrections I needed to read from yesterday's puzzle. Apologies if I missed one, but I didn't. I didn't see any um, anything that actually needed uh, direct addressing. So I think that's it for today's video. And I'll be back tomorrow for the Saturday puzzle. It could be tougher than this one. We'll see if I can manage to. Uh, we'll see. Well, I guess we'll see if I maintain a three day streak of getting completely tripped up at the end. I don't know. Hopefully not. We'll have to find out tomorrow. Um, hope to see you then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care.